What's going on guys? Welcome back to the episode. Lately on my channel I've been doing a lot of challenge episodes and I'm actually having a lot of fun doing these guys and I hope you are too. Today I have a new goal and it, it might be the hardest one yet. My idea, just hear me out, my idea, the property that I'm on right now they have this whole section of bamboo. If y'all know bamboo, it's super hard to find because I mean it just it grows in only certain spots and if it does grow, it's normally not that big of a patch, it's just Maybe around eight by eight. Spot I'm at today, there's a whole forest of it. When I mean forest, there's some bamboo down there, y'all, that are four or five inches. And that, that's just a giant piece of bamboo to grow. So my goal today in this video is to take a piece of that bamboo. We have to find the right one. Take a piece of that bamboo and actually make a fishing pole out of it. And I want to catch a pretty big fish on it. Actually, just to see any fish caught in it will work. But if that happens, my goal will be to catch a big fish on it. First things first, we have to go to Walmart. We have to go get supplies to make this video possible. I need zip ties. I think they're called eye hooks. And that's what I'm going to use to make the eyes of the rod. I'm gonna show y'all how I can structure this rod once we get back to the house. But first we have to get the supplies, come back here, get the bamboo. I'm pumped, I'm excited, I hope this is gonna work out. We're gonna do everything I can to make this happen. So y'all just enjoyed the ride, stay tuned, and let's see what we can do. All right y'all, for the eyes of this rod, I actually wanna try to find a closed circle. I think you hang them up with pictures. We're in that section right now where like picture hanging stuff is, small nails. I'm looking for something like that but closed up. I found them right here but it's in another package. Kind of want it separate. I just want to buy that by itself. I'm getting somewhere but these are too big. Looking for something a little bit smaller. Alright y'all, I moved the box and I saw these small sizes right here. This is exactly what we need. It's going to work perfect. Next thing we need is zip ties. Let's try to go to the aisle where those are at. Alright y'all, here's our zip ties right here. Oh, 097. We'll take those. There's green. I love the color green. These are going to work fine. Eight inch. Thank you for shopping at Walmart. All right, y'all. We got all for supplies. Right now, we're about to head back on the road and go pick out some bamboo. We are back from Walmart. We're at the property now. We're going to go search and find a piece of bamboo. I just want to explain again how it's just it's really rare to find a spot that has this much bamboo in it. And the fact that it grows so thick here, I'll show you guys here in a second. It's just amazing to me how some of this bamboo is four or five inches. I actually plan on doing something with that bamboo down the road with another video. But today we need a little bit of a smaller piece. I'm looking for a medium heavy type action. I, the bamboo is going to bend because I have to try to find the diameter that I want. But I think it's going to work out. I have a saw so we're going to use to cut this bamboo because it's probably going to be pretty thick to get down. This stuff is super strong. That's why I think it's going to be a pretty good rod. They actually make fishing poles that are from bamboo. So I think I can hold up to a bass and I think I can make one and catch a big bass on it. Let's go ahead and hop down on the golf cart and let's go see what we can find. Oh, we're actually pulling up to the bamboo forest. I'm going to get out and show you guys how thick and how much is over here. It's pretty insane. All right, guys, we just made it into the forest. This place is so cool to me. I mean, this bamboo can be every bit of 20 to 25 foot tall. It's, it's just it's crazy to me. There's new sprouts for it growing up. It's just it's like a, a mystery forest. And it's just it's crazy because, like I said, it's hard to find bamboo that grows pretty thick in big groups like this. And right here I have a little hidden gen. It is just amazing out here. Tons of new videos that could be made just with using bamboo. I have a lot of stuff planned for it. I'm gonna just show y'all a couple spots of how thick it is over here. Y'all tell me from North Carolina, where have you seen bamboo this thick? Look at that y'all. That is my whole hand over it. It's a giant piece of bamboo. It goes all the way up there, super tall. There's just giant sprouts of it just coming up right here too. I mean, it's just all over. To cut this bamboo down, like I said, it is super thick. It's super tough. I took a chainsaw, but I wanted to be a clean cut. I just have a little saw right here, a little hand saw. We're just gonna go around now and try to find the piece that we want. Like I said, I want a little medium heavy. Something that's gonna bend pretty good so it actually looks like a rod and feels like a rod, but something not too little where it's gonna break. But bamboo is pretty strong, so we're just gonna have to look around here. See what we can find. I mean, I just want you guys to look at this again. I mean, there's a thousand, millions of pieces to pick through, man. It's just it's all through here. So I'm actually going to spend some time. We're going to see if we can find the piece that we want. Let's start looking. This isn't really a bad piece right here. You have to go far. I don't know. I think this can work out. I think I just found my first piece of bamboo. I didn't really walk that far. There's probably thousands, millions of pieces in here that I can pick from, but Something about this piece right here is catching my eye. Not that tall, so I'm not really killing a big tree. And it's just the right size, I think. Just go ahead and chop it down. Not a bad piece. Next up, we're going to take some clippers. I just want to strip this whole entire thing down. I'm actually happy with this piece. I really think it's going to work. Hey. That's not a bad piece right here. Bring it out here. Here's a piece of bamboo. I'm guessing it's probably... I don't know, 16, 17 foot tall. I'm not gonna use the whole entire thing. 
Got a good flex to it. Probably cut it down somewhere in here, I'm not sure. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. It's super strong though, it's not gonna be bad. Look at that. This is gonna work. When I get back to the house, I'm probably just gonna have to cut all these off, sand it down a little bit. I'm actually gonna spend some time in making this rod. But I think we have repeat, y'all. Let's hop back in the golf cart, let's get out of here. All right guys, so we're back from the property. I have my piece of bamboo right here. Y'all can see all these little ridges right here. I want to get those off. I want it to be a clean piece of bamboo so there's no possible way for the line to get hung up or anything like that. So we're going to sand these down just to get them a clean surface and then we'll go from there. Looking pretty good so far. I'm pretty happy with it. Y'all can see all of these. They're kind of, it's not the best, but they're cut down a little bit. Honestly, where I'm breaking off right now, these little nubs is what actually holds the bamboo tightly together. So if you try to pull that off too much and actually make the bamboo weaker and we don't want that. So I'm keeping a little bit, but just sanding it down. So like I said, no line or nothing gets wrapped around it. I'm happy with it. So next that we have for this rod, I actually marked it right here. And I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. So the way this rod bends, it actually has a bow facing down. And if you guys know spinning rods, the eyes are on the bottom with a bait cast with the eyes are on the top. The way this rod's bending, it would be a good spinning setup, but I really wanted to put a bait caster rod on this, so I'm gonna have to try to see what I can do just the way the bamboo's bending right now. It's not my odds, but I'm gonna make it work. But the first thing I just did now is that I just marked where I'm gonna put my reel. So I have a blue Sharpie, I made a little mark right here, so from here down is gonna be the butt of the rod. Probably gonna place the reel somewhere in here. But the next step now is take the Sharpie. Most rods, most bait caster rods, they have at least to nine to 12 eyes on the rod. My power rods, they have 10, and I just, I love those rods so much. I'm gonna try to shoot for that. This rod by itself is probably 10 to 11 foot, so it's a little bit bigger, but we're gonna see how many eyes we can fit on here. So I'm gonna take the Sharpie now, I'm gonna make my dots, and we're gonna go from there. Here, so I just realized something. This is gonna be a struggle. This bamboo gets so skinny up there. I really think the screws are actually gonna go through to the other side of the bamboo. I hope not, we'll see what we can do. But we have our holes pinned down, let's grab the drill. Have the drill now guys, we're gonna go and make the drill bit. The reason why you do this, I don't wanna strip the bamboo. This is a small enough drill bit to where the screw itself is much bigger, so it's just pretty much like a pre-drill hole. It'll be easier to screw them in, and like I said, we don't want it to strip, so let's start screwing these in. So now all the holes are drilled, like I said, it was getting pretty skinny up here and the screws are probably, yeah, they're gonna be poking through. We'll see what we can do. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do at the top up here. I just dropped that. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with up top. We'll figure something out. Let's just see how these eyes look. So we're done putting the eyes in. I wound up putting 12 on and it's looking pretty good. If y'all can see, try to see if they can see down the rod. Not all of them are straight, but I think it's as good as we're gonna get. I think it's gonna work. The whole point too is that it's actually really flexible. I'm not hearing any cracks. I was worried about that. I mean, if y'all could see, we're in business. Reel's gonna be right here. I think we got something going on. Now it's the hard part. That's done. Let's see how we're gonna put this reel on. This is gonna be a tough one. I have my standard lewd speed spool right here, what I use in a lot of my videos. Rail the reel right there, the green part, that's what normally sticks onto your rods. And as I'm comparing it to mine, it's the same size as the bamboo. So I really don't have that much to cut away to make this fit inside the bamboo. So I think we just ran into our first problem. If I screw this up, I only have one piece of bamboo with me right now. So I'm gonna figure something out. So the problem that I'm running into is that the reel, is, it's gonna be too tight to try to cut into the bamboo and actually place the reel inside for a tight fitting. And I think I could still do it, but the fact that if it's, if there's no bamboo left and it's taking up the whole entire thing, it's just gonna make the handle, where the handle's at and the reel just super weak and I don't want the rod to snap there. So the last option I had is just to take the zip ties and just try to snug down this reel as tight as I can get it. Hopefully it won't move. I don't know how snug it's gonna be able to get, but we're gonna clamp it down and see what's gonna happen. That one's tight. Seems pretty tight on there. I'm just worried that it's, it's not the, let's take it out here. All right, so y'all can see what we're working with now. That is the rod right there. The reel, I mean, I'm, piece of bamboo's pretty heavy. Pulling this reel back and forth, I mean, it's, it's snugged in there pretty tight. Let's see. <laughs> that is not bad. Let's cut these tag ends off and we'll go from there. 
So this project is now done. Next time we'll talk, y'all will be on the water, hopefully to catch a fish. I'm super excited. I have not casted the rod yet. I don't know what this thing's gonna do. So I'll see y'all on the water. Let's hope we can catch a fish. All right, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. It's been about a week since I picked up this project and we modified a couple of things. I've been super busy. I know I talked so much about how I wanted this bamboo rod to be a bait caster. I had to take it off because I was using it for other things and I just never put it back on. I had the chance to come out today and I actually I forgot the reel. I had to grab what I had so I just have a spinning reel in here right now. It's the rod like I said I've made it so it's a bay cast but I'm just gonna have to move around it and I put some grips on this thing. This is a bike handle and I actually just cut the ends off, slid them on. I put some I think it's a uh, athletes tape. Uh, it's some, some sports tape. Wrap that thing around. I put a little butt on the rod so it's looking pretty good and just to make this an even a harder challenge I could have used a super thin hook. I'm actually gonna be using the same size hooks I used for my bait caster. It's a size four, and if y'all can see that thing is super thick, so to get through these fish's mouth today is going to be a challenge with this rod because it's probably gonna snap. But it's a challenge, it's overcast, it's raining here and there. Throwing the old zoom lizard, black and red. I'm ready to see if we can catch a fish in this thing. Y'all enjoy. All right, y'all, setup is in my hand. We're gonna go for the first cast here. That is the first cast, not too bad. I'm really debating on if I should like set the hook the way I normally do or just kind of reel into them. We're gonna see what we can do. The rod probably isn't that weak. Bamboo is super strong, but just because of the screws I put in, it's gonna make the rod weaker. Second cast out there, a little bit further. Let's try going in a little bit deeper. Oh, that's a fish. I got him, no way. Oh, the reel's coming apart. I got him, y'all. It hit the water. Well, that's not a bad one. Y'all, I'm holding this real tight as I can because it's about to fall off. These zip ties are not doing good. There he is. Oh, he came off. He came off. As soon as I set the hook, y'all, the zip ties on the reel started just getting super loose. I was squeezing that thing as hard as I can. It was about a two pounder. The rod actually didn't feel that bad. It was just a reel. Cast that thing out there and I saw that line never hit the bottom. So something picked it up and did not stop running. Let's cast back out there. There might be two. There's another bite. Here we go. I got him. I got him. Gotta keep pressure. There he is. Come up here. Don't come off. We're going for the bamboo flip. Yes, sir. Y'all, that is a fat bass. Super pale, though. All right, y'all, that is the first fish on the bamboo rod. That reel is slipping so bad. But we caught a fish, and we bank flipped them. Ready to get another one. The rod held up pretty good, but it's not the biggest fish. It's just a pound, but we got to catch a bigger fish. Let's throw him back. Thank you, buddy. A little jump. Just from this fish so far, we have a split tip that is not good at all. She's taking a beating, and we haven't even caught a big fish yet. We've only caught one that was about a pound. We're going to keep it moving down. We can't fix it now. That is a challenge. We're going to roll with it. Let's just see what happens. There's a bite. And I just broke my rod. Yeah, that's supposed to be up here. She broke. It was doing a ride at first and it's, it's taking a beating on me now. She's retied. I have about six or seven inches that is just kind of dangling there. Probably gonna get tangled a lot, but like I said, it is a challenge. I'm gonna keep on rolling with it. Let's get back out there. There's a fish. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, he's got it. I got him. Hey, little guy, get up here. And she's up. I wish y'all can feel this. As soon as I set the hook, I mean, this, this reel is just it's about to fall off. I'm squeezing as hard as I can off a fish this big. Bamboo rod challenge. Thank you, little guy. Let's go fish in deep water. Some of the better bites have been offshore today, so they might be getting pushed out there. We're still in post bomb right now, so that could be the case. Let's go test it out. There's a fish. Get up here. That's not a bad one. Bamboo flip. Yes, sir. I was throwing that thing back in and he came up and smoked it. Biggest one today. Let's calm down. Third fish today getting a little bit bigger. But not the giant we want. She smoked it, reeling it back in. Reel the stew messing up. Let's throw it back in the water. Thank you, buddy. This challenge is not going the best and I'm very pressed for time right now. Let's just try to backtrack fish the spots where I first started off. Stay fishing deep and let's hope we can catch a giant. Just made it to the spot guys. We're fishing a big concrete slab right now. Hopefully some bass will be holding there for the heat. We can try to get one deep. Casting deep kind of screws me over because the further I cast out, the more stretch I have and 
the odds of me getting the hook started is not likely. But that's where these fish are holding up the most right now, so let's just give it what we got. Oh, there's a bite. I got him. Stay pin, stay pin. Stay pin, this feels pretty good. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. The reel's falling off. I'm trying to pinch it. Stay pin, baby. That's the biggest bass of the day so far. Get up here. We'll take it. All right, y'all, the fourth fish. It's the biggest one of the day. It's a solid two pounder. It's not bad. And the old bamboo rod. Let's go to back in the water. Thank you, baby. There she goes. I heard something pop, click, and clank. It's not breaking though. I'm pretty impressed. Let's go to back out there. Cameron worries me so much. Please don't fall. Oh, that's a bite. Y'all yeah, got him. Well, y'all, that's a big one. Baby, stay pinned. Cameron, please don't fall. Y'all, that's not bad. Oh, that's a good one. Baby, stay pinned. Get up here. Yes, sir. Now that's a fish, Jack. That's a good fish right there, y'all. It's about a two and a half. The rod is holding up. I'm so proud of this thing. Where I have it at the reel, it's weak. It's, it's not the strongest, but it's catching these fish right here. Let's throw it back in the water. What a nice chunk. Thank you, baby. There's a fish. Come here, baby. That's not bad. Oh, oh. Should I break you? Should I? Five pounder gone. Five pounder. That one hurt. Throwing it back in and she just smoked it. That one hurt. That one hurt bad. There's a fish. Oh, it came off, came off. There's a fish. Y'all, that's big and that rod just bent over the most I've seen it do all day. Don't jump. Don't jump, stay down, baby, stay down. There she is. Don't jump, stay down, stay down, don't jump. There's the fish I want. Come on, baby. Look at that bamboo rod bend. Come on, quit digging. Come on, it's fighting fish, y'all. There she is. Skinny, but that's a big bass right there. Look at that fish right there. Skinny, but that's a good bass. I'll take it all day. Let's throw it back in the water. Thank you, baby. That was the most I've seen this rod bend, y'all. I'm talking bowed. Get up here. That was a pretty good one. That's a fatty. All right, y'all, we'll call that the last fish. Chunky little one and a half. Thank you, baby. It sucks because all these fish are just stacked out there right now. But like I said, y'all, I'm pressed for time. I gotta go. A new video will be coming out soon. But it was a good day. But we're gonna end this video right here, y'all. The bamboo rod challenge was not bad. The reel and the holding kind of failed on me, but it caught all those fish, so it wasn't bad. Started off a little bit slow as it got into the middle, even slower, but we hit it hard at that last spot. I got most of my bites in the beginning, but I just wanted to explore the pond. I always like to fish around as much as I can. I knew if I wanted to come back to one spot, it'd be this one right here, and look at all the fish we caught. So it was not bad. The bamboo rod, it did pretty good for me. It didn't fail. It kind of did, but it didn't fail because I caught all those fish. The top did break, the reel was falling off, but like I said, we caught all those fish. It was a great video in my eyes, and I highly recommend y'all go find you some bamboo. Slap a reel on me like I did and try to catch some fish. The bow of this rod was actually pretty good, and I'm just shocked at how strong bamboo is because this rod deserves respect for what it did for me today. This will definitely be thrown on the wall, and maybe in a new video, so just leave a comment down below if you want to see this rod back in action. I'm going to wrap it up right here. i got to head out. If y'all want to watch any more of my challenges, just click on one of these four videos right here and leave a comment down below. I appreciate you guys letting Bass TV.